Good morning, Hangout Gang. It is December the 19th, 641 a.m. And we have the four-hour Bitcoin chart. As you can see from the show that I did two weeks ago, I told you that Bitcoin was going to travel in this range of this box right here between this low and this high. And it is doing exactly uh, what I said it was going to do two weeks ago. And as you can see, um, it came out and breached, this, uh, breached the, um, the range right here before it came and fell back down into it. Um, this is the four hour chart as you can see it's oversold uh, so i expect a little bit of a rally a little bit probably break up to this line right here 17 uh, k4 uh, before falling back down um, the 21 sma as you see crossed the 50 the 80 and um, came down to the 200 and it brought price action down with it as well uh, and as you can see it's consolidating here right here so we shall continue to see um I want to extend this box out some more because like I said I expect for it to do this uh, into the new year uh, more than likely uh, towards the end of the, the month maybe it explode up a little more okay MACD is, is looking good um, not much uh, buying or selling pressure and the RSI is oversold okay now let's go ahead and look at the daily chart as you can see the daily uh, we did not get a higher high um, we had a double top and it rolled back over as you can see 21 fell back down here and it went, it's going down here it started to rise up but it is starting to fall back down again as you can see MACD here so still above 30 set around 42 44 uh, so the RSI I'm sorry um, so remember as the RSI approaches under 32 it normally does a, a bounce all right so let's see here, as you can see, that big triangle, uh, big downward trend that, that was happening, and you had another downward trend right here. Go ahead and, and do this. So I suspect that, you know, it will continue to go within this, this frame right here and going down, okay? Now, you had the ES1 roll over, okay? It broke through. It, and then he had to sell off and it rolled over and as you can see right here it reflection the rsi and reflection in the volume you had a lot of volume coming in on the bitcoin and then you had the sell off uh, volume and as you can see starting the green candle um 21 crossed the 50 here on this is the s p 500 e mini futures uh, this is the daily and as you can see 21 crossed on the daily uh, the 50 and it came up here close to the 200 before turning back down and heading back down towards the downward side rsi is looking good looking decent um neither oversold or overbought uh, macd uh, not a lot of sudden pressure as far as volume goes you see a little bit of volume starting to come back into bitcoin let's take a look at the altcoin uh chart as you can see uh, the altcoins here bled, bled as well um, you have all the uh, SMAs going down. 21 came down, brought price action with it. It's bringing the 50, 80, and the 100 down with it as well. Uh, RS, uh, RSI is, is here oversold. Uh, it's approaching 32, so if it falls down a few more, I expect a little bit of a bounce back up here. Now, we need a higher high on the altcoin chart in order for it to turn around. If you don't get a higher high somewhere up in here or up in here, then I expect for it to roll back over, okay? Now, this is the DXY, the dollar index. As you can see, the dollar is starting to get a little strength. Um, you have the, um, the the 21 did the cross on the 200, and I suspect the 21 to go sideways would bring the dollar price action sideways. And if that does, then you may see a little bit of choppiness uh, with the cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the Bitcoin dominance chart. And as you can see, you have the money flowing into Bitcoin, and therefore that altcoin dominance chart, you see the altcoins bleed, right? So, as you can see, a little resistance right here at the 42.34% uh, of the Bitcoin uh, dominance chart. And then it touched and fell back down, down to the 200. So, I suspect that it's going to chop uh, between this little range right here. Um, and you may get a little break up here more and if you do they expect Bitcoin to have a little rally not a big rally but just a little rally uh, before having a uh, pull back as you can see the RSI is oversold or overbought so I, I actually expect the pullback here on the Bitcoin dominant so I expect the altcoins to have a little bit of green here um, today all right now uh, let's take a look at the See, we did that. Did the ES money f futures? Um, let's take a look at the Ethereum chart. 
as you can see, Ethereum is right here, priced at $1,186. If you do not get a higher high Ethereum, this is a daily right here, right? Right? RSI is looking pretty good. It's around 40 ho uh, hovering, it's going sideways. Not a lot of selling pressure, not a lot of buying pressure as well. Now, if you get, um, if you don't get a higher high up in here, then I expect Ethereum to roll over down here uh, during the week below the uh, sub 1,000. Uh, Bitcoin down to close to around $700 Bitcoin, right? And if it hits $700 Bitcoin, then my price targets of what I told you guys of 450 to 450, uh, 408 to 450 Ethereum will be hit. All right. So I've been telling you guys that for months, for months, um, it's especially since um, February. So those price targets hit, and once those price targets hit, then you will see a reversal in um, in um, price action in the markets. All right, so that is what I am waiting for. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at XRP. Um, let's see here. XRP. XRP is currently trading at 34 cents. And you see here you had a little shopping saying it rolled over as well, along with Bitcoin and the uh, cryptocurrency market. Now you have support here at 33 uh, cents. Uh, I suspect that you have a bounce right here once it uh, back up towards here. And it may hit that resistance of 36 cents. And I expect for it to chop in between 32 and 36 cents uh, for the week unless we have major moves of Bitcoin. Okay. Now, the CPI numbers came out. And uh, it was exactly what everybody expected. So you had a little bit of price action moving in the market. But like I said, it was what everybody expected. So it does, you didn't have that much of a price action moving because everybody was under the impression that it was going to be raised uh, the 50 basis points. Right. So <clears throat> now... On this XRP chart, uh, my price targets of XRP is 20 cents XRP. And once you hit 26, uh, 20 cents XRP, that is the bottom of the total cryptocurrency market. As XRP is the gauge uh, um, in the market for the bottom of the cryptocurrency market for us over here at this crypto hangout channel. Right. All right. So this XRP, as you can see, 21 came down, broke the 50 and it started moving sideways and it's chopping up and below the 50. And as you can see, the price action is doing the exact same before it rolled over and it rolled over down here in RSI. RSI is approaching 33. So if it falls down another one, one point, then I expect some type of bounce uh, out of XRP because as we all know that when the RSI hits under 32 or around 32, then there is a bounce 95 percent of the time. All right, so let's go in here. That is XRP. We did XRP. We did Ethereum. Um, what else should we do? Let's look at. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's look at Solana. See what Solana is doing. Shout out to my soul heads. So you can see Solana had a big sell off right here um, last week or last month and it is chopping right here it's chopping sideways it is currently twelve dollars and thirty cents um let's see here this is the daily daily is not looking too bad it's at 35 so if you like said it's 32 falls another three points and i expect some type of bounce back up here to this resistance of 21 dollars okay now it needs to break 20 before you have a reversal or a reverse movement it needs to break 21 dollars not only 21 it needs to come up here and break 39 dollars and hit about 40 41 dollars before i be happy about a reversal when it comes to soul now this is the daily chart Let's take a look at the four hour chart And as you can see on the four hour chart, it is chopping right here. We're along the 21 to 21 cross up under the 50, which is normally called a death cross. But um, in this uh, scenario, uh, this is not. So our size is at 33.35%. So if it falls on the uh, point, I expect, like I said, another bounce. And you can get a run up all the way up to $21 before you hit that resistance and it falls back down. Okay, so that'd be something to look at. Um, actually, you can get it up to $19 to to twenty one dollars. So if it hits nineteen, that'll be the first resistance point. Would be the nineteen dollars, which would be right here. And you have another resistance point uh, ceiling would be right here at eighteen dollars. So if it breaks eighteen dollars, then look for the re the resistance to be nineteen dollars. It breaks that twenty one. Um, and if it rolls back over, it'll break it and roll back over back down here. Okay. But you need to get a higher high, and you actually need a higher high up in here on the sole. You need a higher high here higher than that high and then you need a higher higher than that high before you see reversal okay all right and this is the daily technical analysis uh, if you are not subscribed to our channel go ahead and subscribe to our channel here on spotify it's the crypto sunday night hangout 
on Spotify and Pandora and all podcasting streaming platforms where you can get the daily technical analysis here. Every morning, we upload a video of technical analysis. Uh, and you can be a subscriber and you can get uh, early access to our videos, um, early access to uh, exclusive interviews, and uh, the Daily TA because we will, uh, January 1st, we will start making this uh, Daily TA uh, be a subscriber uh, only content and you can subscribe for $4.99 a month. Um, so we try to keep that uh, manageable. Uh, we also have another podcast, which is called the MetaSpot Podcast, where we talk nothing about NFTs and Metaverse. So if you are into NFTs and Metaverse, this is the podcast for you, all right? And before we head out, we're going to take a look at the crypto bubbles and look at the price action of the markets before we actually get out um, and go. Okay, so here we go right here. Crypto bubbles, you have Chili's is down 14.8%. ADA is down 13.6, Doge down 13.1, Flow 18.2, USDN down whopping 29.8%, uh, Trust Wallet Token down 38%, STX down 22%, DOT down 10%, Curve down 8%, Litecoin down 14%, CRO down 8%, FTT down 30%, APE down 19%, Luna down 15%, Filecoin down 28%, BAT down 14%. Pretty much the whole entire market is red except for XDC, which is up 18%, TOM, which is up 24%, and OKB, which is up 3.6%. All right, this is Crypto Crane signing out for the uh, giving you the daily technical analysis for the Crypto Hangout Network. Signing out till tomorrow's video. Peace.